Welcome everyone, my name is Michael. Today, we have something fun and slightly experimental for you guys. I was talking to my good friend Cassie at Epiphany Creations and we were discussing a specific pour technique. And somehow I ended up on this craziness right here, which is pretty much a nice rainbow six flip cup pour situation, painting, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be awesome. Um, the experimental part for us is going to be this, okay? Um, obviously, each, each set of colors here is going into a cup. So this is the magenta cup here, and we need to add in some of the purple cup and some of the red cup. So basically, I want to test out doing a side side technique where I can isolate as much as I can just on the edges, just to add that blend in. So we're going to test that out today. And that's how we're going to do that. I want to clean up now and then go right into these colors because you can see there's a lot. So I think that's the best thing we could do. And plus, I'm already out of breath because I have to say so much really fast. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's set this up here we're gonna start off with we're gonna start off with our yellows over here okay here we go we have a cadmium yellow medium hue then we have primary yellow then we have a lemon yellow now we're on to the reds we'll start off with our alizarin Crimson Hue Permanent. Then we have just Crimson. Okay. And here is our Cadmium Orange Hue. Okay, right there. Next, we have our Quinacridrone Magenta. That name is nuts. Then we have a Medium Magenta. That name is not nuts. Then we have fluorescent pink. So that covers our magenta section. Then we have our dioxazine purple, big fan. Then we have our neon violet and our light blue violet in our violet section. Awesome. Let's go with the primary blue. Then we're doing a fluorescent blue. Then we have a light blue hue, obviously blue section. It's great. All right, next and last, here we go. We have our light green permanent right here. Then our lime green. And then our bright aqua green. And that finishes up the colors. Um, obviously we will be using white for blocking and mixing. And that's about it. Now we are gonna have to clean this up because we're gonna have to do these cups because I'm gonna do them at the same time. And you guys know I like to run everything on my right side. So let's see how fast. Oh, wait. Oh, we almost forgot guys. Let's play the most favorite game in all of the galaxy. Clean up the sticks and count them. Let's do that with me this time. Ready? Here we're going to start here. We're going to go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. We're gonna leave the one stick in the white, titanium white, just in case. Guys, this is amazing. Whew. 
That is a big batch of sticks there. I'm mean, gonna tell you, that's craziness right there. All right, let's let's do this. We're going to, you know what? This is very mechanical looking, this next part. Let's just go into music. Um, but first, I, I do wanna give you guys one more thing. I will give you the um, the little fact about me. It, it, I mean, I'm not even gonna give two today because I, I'm feeling a little generous and I'm in a really good mood. Um, so, um, this is an easy one. I prefer Michael. Okay? It's just my preference. I, if you're going to call me Michael or Mike, I would say call me Michael almost 100% of the time. I will answer to Mike, obviously. It's a nickname. My dad was Mike. So I, it was just a, a way to differentiate between the two of us. And I actually really do love the name Michael. So um, that's it. Fun fact. Let's go into music. Clean up. And I will see you. Oh, and we're going to... We're going to lay out the cups. It's going to be great. Hang in there. And I'll see you. And I will see you on the other side. Here we go.
All right, guys, we are back in here. And for you guys, that was probably quick. For me, that was a long time. But man, that is like one of my favorite things to do is to layer cups. I mean, actually, yeah, layering cups, tilting, they're like equal for me. I love it. I just love, that's I, that's probably why I like doing flip cups and, and straight pours and stuff like that. Because I get a chance to do more of that. We're just pushing these up, so I gotta get this canvas back up here. All right. Canvas is back up here, guys. Here we go, let's line her up. Okay, let's make sure she's looking good. Bring our cups back to me. Oh, these cups are so pretty. I, I kinda wanna show you guys one at a time, if you have the time. All right, so let's show this one. Look at that, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really nice this one okay so you guys know what i'm gonna do right i have to flip these in the right order too like so where they line up side side you saw the side side method these are cool look at that see yeah got, got the violet you got the violet here blue the green perfect we even carried over the yellow from the other side oh this is awesome i'm so excited all right, let's get this right here in frame for you guys. And we're going to get these cups down. I want to get this yellow down now. This is going to be great. Um, so that's right. We have to go like this. And we're going to go down. That's one down, okay? And then next one down. Here we go. Bam. Beautiful. Same order. One more time. Yep. Yep. There we go. Perfect lined up. There we go. Nice. One more, one more guys. Bam, okay. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get these going. All right, here we go. So, I'm gonna pull these off. Ready, here we go. We're pulling these off. I'm gonna drag a little little further with this one. Just to give you some more spread here. Oh man, it's so pretty. We're gonna come down with all these, trust me. Oh, I love it. If anybody needs to know, there is actually one drop of silicone in each one of these. I just wanted to add a lot of drama Silicone is the quickest way to add drama to anything. But this is so pretty. I want to come right in the middle more with that one. Oh, look at these blend. These these colors are going to blend very, very well together. And let's try to get... Oh, I kind of want it in this corner, but let's go down here. There we go. Oh, all right. Let's get these cups out of here. All right. Oh, they're so pretty. I don't know if you guys are like me, you like to look at the cups after. We're gonna torch this. We're torching. Now you know you know we're gonna come down. I love to talk to tilting. Because again, I think tilting sometimes is intimidating to a lot of people because you feel like you have the biggest chance to mess something up during the tilting. I mean, which is yeah, definitely. I mean Yes, you can mess up your painting by tilting, over tilting, under tilting, having too much paint, it's going to crack. But tilting is the best way to get that feel of the paint being so fluid. It really is. Okay, here we go, guys. We're coming up with it. Obviously, we got to come down first. That's a given. Which is going to stretch everything out. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, now let's get some of the yellow and stuff over there. We're going to have to start mixing these up. I like to keep it so that I don't lose a lot. I don't have any flow extender set up for this. We might actually just come right off the edge just to finish that off there. Oh, in the bottom there. Okay, now we can kind of slide back to work on the green. So we're going to work on this green a little now. 
and we can come right back there. And if we need, if we overstretch, we can just come right down with the whole, the whole piece. So, not too worried. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right, there we go. Now we can come back up, back to the middle. Yep. Oh, so look at the color separation. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's beautiful, guys. I'm trying to keep it down so you guys can see. Let's switch. Maybe we'll switch up to here. You might be able to see better if we go like this. So, hold on. Let's just, just try to line this up now. Because we want to be able to come maybe off with the green first. To push that over. Let's see. Yeah, I think let's push the green over. We'll come back with the yellow. Because the yellow is kind of overstretching anyway. And then we can restretch the green out and bring the yellow back in, even though it's going to have a lot of blended reds and pinks in there, probably. We can come right off the side and then right off the top and come back at the same time. So we can kind of come back and pull to get that little, like that galaxy look to the edges. You know, when you ever want to try to get that, that <clears throat> spirally look, like the rings, that's how you get that. Got to come off the edge at the right time where you can see it stretch one out. That one's probably not going to get one. So, oh boy, I love it. Oh, I can't. You don't want to overstretch this one because the color separation is really good right here. Oh, I kind of want to keep this color separation. What do you guys think? You think this is good? This might actually be nice. Oh, I love it. Uh, it's very fluid in the middle still, so I don't want it to be too fluid. But yeah, the color separation is really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. I think it like, I think this is exactly what it wants. It's perfect. Okay guys, we're going down. Here we go. Oh, thank you guys for hanging out today. That was amazing. Oh, oh. Guys, this is, this is beautiful. That color separation with the flip cups. That was great. Great ideas all around. Oh, I just love to put this in frame for you. So I'm not super messy, I will wave and uh, I'm going to torch off camera like I usually do. And that way you guys can see everything in the close-ups. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.